Hello, hello, hello. Uh -oh. What up, fellow cheaters? I have brought y'all here today to ask you guys. This is a question uh, Christian brought up to us a while ago, and I thought it was worth discussing. My girl's going to see this and be like, why did you ask that? I'm like, I don't <laughs> yes, know. Sir. <laughs> I'm doing it here in the Discord server because I want to know y'all's opinion, too. I want to know everybody's opinion. Let's go. So the idea is uh, you find out someone that you're in the talking stage with slept with another person and withheld it from you. You are not official, but you have had a mutual agreement on exclusivity. Is this considered cheating? Who's going first? It is cheating. Okay, what do you think, Darren? I say it's not cheating. I also say on paper it's not cheating. What does that mean, bro? <laughs> it's just not by <laughs> by dude, by paper. the Merriam-Webster dictionary is not cheating. Let's go. Your girl catches you half deep in some random person and you go, "Well, Merriam-Webster's dictionary." Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you will pull out and then pull out the dictionary too. I don't want to hear. Pull that, out the bro. dick, pull out the dictionary. I think that is cheating. We'll go in order. So first off, Darren, Yo. why do you think it's not cheating? I think it's not cheating because y'all are not official. Y'all are not boyfriend and girlfriend. You cannot cheat on someone who is not your girlfriend. It's, it's more like a, you know, we're testing the waters before we make it official, right? But it's not, we're not there Nah, yet. I think it's, I say it's definitely cheating. One, because like, it's not like this is like a, we had a conversation. We didn't say we're mutually exclusive. Yeah. You are mutually exclusive which in my idea is a training wheels relationship. You are not supposed to see anyone. You breach the trust. Even if we didn't put the label on it, it's like basically there. Mm -hmm. Right. You cheated. But it's not. But it's it's not though. But it's not yeah, it's though. Not no, there. no, here. If you have a mutual exclusive agreement as to you're only seeing each other and you're only sleeping with each other, and then you sleep with someone else, by definition, you're cheating on your agreement. Yeah. It's you cheated. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's cheating. We had a we had a deal and you cheated on it. I didn't fulfill the agreement, right? But again, you cheated it. I am still technically single. You said right? but you agreed. Yeah, but you literally just said I just I just cheated on my agreement. No, 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 I'm not saying it's not wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's still not cheating. It's not cheating. Preface this like, with that's bad, but also is it cheating? No, it's not cheating. It's f up. 100% it's f up, but like it's yeah, not cheating. Yeah, but you're cheating no, but on your mutual agreement to only see each other. I'm not cheating on the relationship though. Right. Even in the semantics of it, cheating comes down to the mutual agreement you guys made between each other. You said we are mutually exclusive. You did them dirty by going against that agreement. That is Yeah, it's cheating. up, but did you cheat? No. It's f up. You're cheating on your verbal agreement. What would you call it then as an alternative? Call what? What you did. I broke the agreement. That's what that is. I you che you broke cheated the on the agreement, by bro. No, I broke. It. No. Nobody says you cheated on an agreement. Nobody okay? says that, but it's by definition what happened. You broke a promise. Right, but, but that's not how I uh, classify. Yeah, I broke a promise. I didn't yeah, cheat. you cheated on the promise. You don't cheat on a promise. Promise. You don't cheat on a promise. <laughs> Nobody Christian. cheats. Yeah, no one, no right? one says it like that. You didn't cheat though. Christian nah, is just trying to nah. bait us into using a word. It's not what it is. You it's literally cheat. not what it so, is. So, so a, a little bit long ago, you said that it was a definition. If we go into the definition, Mr. F Webster. <laughs> the first bro. one is to act dishonestly or unfairly. Like it's right there. You acted dishonest. No. Cheating refers to the relationship, right? When, when someone says they got cheated on, it means they were in a committed relationship and somebody went behind their back and exactly. That's cheating. There is no relationship to cheat on. There, there is, is no nothing. relationship. A mutual exclusive is a form of a relationship. It's an agreement. No, 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 no. But not a relationship, dog. Yeah, but okay, so what's a relationship built on? Trust. Right. If you break someone's trust with this mutual exclusive agreement, isn't that the same wrongdoing minus the semantics? Yeah. Point is, the label isn't there. The label isn't yeah, there, Yeah, so right? it's the same wrongdoing minus the semantics, so the action is the same minus the semantics. I have a question, all right? Yeah, yeah, what's the question? What's the question? We are exclusive. Are you my girlfriend? Yes or no? Depends on whatever label you came up with. No, there's no label. We're just saying we're exclusive. Because the way I see it is being exclusive is right before making things official, right? So we're not official. Bro, so what does the word... Are you are you still my girlfriend? Yes or but no? But if we're doing it like that, it's like a probationary period where it's like we're going to see... Exactly. This is it us. is. But Yeah, but that's the thing. You broke probation. This is you on the job trying right, to get yeah. out. I broke probation. I didn't cheat. But so did you, you cheat? Wait, wait, wait. So if you up on the probation part of your job you still get fired 
Like, well, I was never. Fully. I was never no, hired. You were fired <laughs> still, bro. If I was working at a job and I was on the probationary period for them to hire me, right? And then I got let go. Then I wasn't even really fired because I didn't get the job yet. So it's the same. Sh if Is I'm on like a period where yeah. they're trying to test the waters. So what does the word exclusive mean to you? If, if you want to like what makes what makes exclusive exclusivity in a relationship or exclusivity in whatever we have versus the label a boyfriend girlfriend what's the difference other than the label Tell well me. i mean that's quite literally the difference the label the label has the power yeah la the, in terms no, of so relationships hold on. no the the label the label does not have the power the power comes in the trust the label is just there for semantics it's just there for it's just there to no, easily label talk sets about the boundary, anybody though. i disagree nah, the no, label disagree. is more so what what you would tell anyone else as opposed to what it actually was the saying you're exclusive is what makes Kurt, it the that. label sets the boundaries. And saying you're not in an exclusive relationship does What it. sets the boundaries is the agreement. Anybody can go on Facebook and be in a relationship. No, dude. In, ter in terms of stuff like this? Okay, so let's say you're working as at it. Like, we'll go back to this job thing. You're working at a job. What sets the boundaries is the agreement that you sign on. It's not your label. No, because if you're not labeled as an employee, then you're never fired. The label exactly. holds so much you weight here, yeah. But you were put in a position where you given all the exact same points. That is what it is. You will get fired. You were Kurt, you, you had your name on the, the job paper. You, never had. you had the same relationship Kurt. with everyone else. You Kurt. still get fired. Keep you fired point. from a job you never yeah, had. Exactly. They got you behind the register. They have you in the books. It's the same deal. If you're shadowing someone, you don't have a job, bro. You don't have a job. You're just They're there. paying you to shadow. Yeah, but yeah, like you get right. paid to shadow, but that is you are not an employee. But that's yet. a job. No, it's you're not, not on corporate. It's you're not, not on the schedule, dog. You're Dude, not on the schedule. Not okay, so here, we'll bring we'll bring we'll bring this back down to what differentiates a relationship from a job. In a relationship, there's a lot more moving parts, not just a signed contract. There are boundaries that are that are arbitrary to each person. But if you both align on the boundary that you're only sleeping with each other and one person cheats that, that's cheating. That's the boundary that you set. Forget the label, forget the signed contract. The terms are different for everybody. But if you both agree that you're not sleeping with other people, that's the main thing you have to focus like, on. You broke this form of trust that had this position of, yo, we're not going to do it. And then you did it anyway. It's hard to, by definition, identify what a relationship is on paper. You can't do that. It, it, like I said, it differs from person to person. There are open relationships. Or like in an open relationship, if you sleep with another person, it's not cheating because you've set the boundary that you can do that. But if you emotionally connect with someone else and that's a boundary that you're crossing with your partner, that's cheating. It's no, different yeah, for absolutely. everybody. You can cheat on an open relationship, but here's the thing. The open relationship, you have a girlfriend. That is your girlfriend. But whether or not y'all continue like y'all sharing and you know y'all out there having sex with uh with anybody else the point of the matter is that is still your girlfriend so let me say this if you have a girlfriend and you both agree that you can sleep with other people and you sleep with someone else that's not cheating right if she is my girlfriend and we agree on it yes absolutely yes exactly but if you both agree on a term that you cannot emotionally connect with another person because that would be crossing a boundary and then you go ahead and do that is that cheating well then it that would, would have to be cheating exactly but that's the thing the prerequisite no let me finish let me finish, to that is the, let me is... finish. it's not necessarily the title that makes it the cheating. It's the crossing of boundaries. And if you have respect for this person and you make a mutual exclusive agreement to not sleep with anyone else and you cross that, that's just as bad as being in a relationship and crossing a boundary that you guys set for yourself. So you're saying when you cross a boundary, it's cheating, right? Well, what sets the what sets the boundary in a relationship is the label. So like- No, to, it's to not. It's, it does, it is. Of mutually exclusive is a label. Ivan, did you not hear the yes. argument I just made? I heard the argument, but I still don't think it's cheating. It, so, dude, so we, you, but you agree the boundary is the agreement that you guys set for each other and not the label because you can sleep with other people as long as the other partner's on board. But as soon as they're not on board, you're crossing a boundary and that's cheating. Just because they haven't said it's boyfriend, girlfriend, doesn't invalidate the internal agreement they made like that still means that's something. the most important part what are you talking about but they said they're mutually exclusive it is literally Dude, just you cannot cheat the point is you cannot cheat on somebody you cannot cheat on a non-girlfriend bro she's not your girlfriend you cannot so that's the same deal if the shoe was on the other foot then yeah if the shoe's on the other foot again the rules still apply would you feel would you feel cheated though Huh? Would you would you feel cheated? I mean, I'd feel hurt, but also like no, that's yeah, what I'm I, I'd be on hurt, paper. but I wouldn't I wouldn't be no, like but, she cheated on me. Yeah, but would you feel cheated? <laughs> 
Bro, you're trying, you're actively trying to fish for it, bro. It's not happening. I know Stop. you agree with it. You just don't want to say it. I know you agree Christian, with it. Christian, I would, I would don't agree. agree. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Me. Okay, so let's say you've been, you're, this happened to you. You made a mutual exclusive agreement with someone and they slept with someone else. You're okay. hurt. Yeah. You get in another relationship and you're talking to them about it. And you say, well, I've, well, I've been hurt before with people sleeping with other people. Cause, and and then they're like, wait, but you haven't been cheated on. Yeah. You weren't in a relationship. But, so how could you be hurt? Right, but that's you have, you you were, you've never hurt, been cheated on. But that, that's, that's a not you can't feel argument. hurt. That is it. That, so then tell me what you tell Just them. Just tell them I was in a, I was I was sleeping with somebody like, and I was hurt. I don't need to be cheated on to be hurt. No, I want you to tell me what you would tell them. I'd be Here's like, uh, idiot. All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> idiot. I can I can feel hurt and not be cheated. So on. what happened to you? Tell me. Tell me what happened to you. Tell me. I the had set expectations. Now, I'll tell you what happened. Kurt. The agreement That's was broken, and I was hurt yeah. because of it. The agreement I was like broken. Cheating. And That's crazy. No, it's not I cheating. Set expectations Again. for this person, and they broke them. No, okay. They yeah, exactly. Wait, wait, wait. My point. The my point hurt. of doing that was for them. Once you explain it, the what you say is literally the definition of cheating. You had an agreement with someone to be mutually exclusive in the the form of a relationship, because that's what it is—a relationship. You guys had an agreement to stick together and not do anything with anyone else. And then they broke that agreement and it hurt you. Like that is what cheating is. But it's not you know? cheating. So it Dude, is, an ar it, the root cheating. of the argument really is just semantics, bro. Cause it's not cheating if Wait, we're not in a on. relationship. Would you, would, you, would you respect them any more or less if they did it outside of the label? I would respect them less if they were my girlfriend. But if we weren't an established relationship, it's whatever. I can agree with them and that I would still respect it less. It's heavier. Right? If my girlfriend cheated on me, that shit's heavy. If my friends with benefits cheated on me, it's like, all right, well, whatever. Well, I only say that in the fact that this is earlier in the relationship because it's still a breach of trust in your form of relationship. But that's why I was saying that the label, the label brings so the label, much. The label makes it. That's, it brings so much to the it. table. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. At the, at the end of the day, it's where you think that first initial label counts. Does mutually exclusive connotate that or does the, the boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, connotate that. I, mean, I, I think it matters where, what you're, how high you value the label. Like some people are more fluid than others. Like some people just don't ever really officially ask them to be their girlfriend, but they go on living the exact same relationship as people that make it a big fucking All deal. All right, so now uh, I feel like we've come like, to a good point. Let's do a final vote. Come on, audience. I know you understand what we've All been right, audience. At. Say up if it is, down come if it on, isn't. Come on, guys. I was, I was very articulate with the argument. Oh, sh**. That's a lot of thumbs come up. Come on, chat. All right. It looks like uh, the chat is spoken. Well, your chat is wrong. 38, 38, <laughs> 37, 38. Believe I've never this seen is so many wrong people in my we're, we're, we're doing another video. I like Lord. how y'all are so bold and how wrong y'all are. That's crazy. Damn, well, and that, the, 40, the 40 people who think that agree uh, kind of thinks uh, we're right, though. So yeah, I don't know, crazy. man. That's crazy. Now, we may not be 100% sure if it's cheating if you sleep with someone outside of an exclusive relationship. But what I am sure about are these deals I'm about to hit you with. Let's go. This video is sponsored by Raycon. Now, if you're like me and you kind of not like people, you may have times where you gotta tune out the world. And the best way to do that is with Raycon. No matter what I use them for, Raycons are my go-to on the go for audio. And the new everyday earbuds look and feel and sound better than ever with an improved rubber oil look and feel. Like, man, these are quite nice. And optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit. These are impressive before you even start listening, my friend. And plus you get three new sound profiles to make sure everything you're listening to sounds its best. Not to mention Raycons offer eight hours of playtime and a 32 hour battery life. Plus they have a built-in mic so you can talk on the go wireless. And if you don't like all that, they even have a 45 day free return policy. Like, come on y'all. So if you want Raycons that start at half the price of other premium audio brands, but sound just as good, go to buyraycon.com forward slash Kurt Ritchie to get 15% off your next order. That's buyraycon.com forward slash Kurt Ritchie to save 50% on Raycons. Thank you, Raycon, for sponsoring this video. Oh, what's up, y'all? Yo, it's your boy, Kurt Ritchie. Thank you so much for watching that video. Um, uh, A couple things I want to bring up real quick now that we're at the good old end here. Um, One, I will be having a panel at Anime NYC. Uh, Three of them. One for Recreo, one for Beyond the Bot, and one for um, Crunchy Gas. So if you want to go to those, please go to Anime NYC. Um, I have the dates for them on my Twitter, so you can go check that out. Uh, and you can pull up, say hi, whatever, you know. Oh, also, um,
I'm tired. I really don't really have much else except big old thanks as usual to the patrons. I really appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. But yeah, man, I wanna I want to post more. I genuinely want to post more though. Uh, but I got I got eight million other projects happening. But I do want to post more on here because this is my main thing. But uh, I'll get back to it. I promise. But that's really about it. Um, thank y'all all so much for watching. I appreciate you, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.